That's right, friends. It's winter. Look at that. <laughs> you literally blink here and it's winter. It freaks me out every year and I'm born and raised here. How quickly it just goes bang. And you're never ready, friends. I still have work to do, but it is what it is. We'll get her all done. Uh, I got a fire going in the shop. I'm actually just going to close the door. Keep some of that heat in. Anyways, there's uh, there's a couple of trees in the back 40. Um, there's one tall, dead, standing blue spruce. Uh, I'm trying to take them out. Um, when the blue spruce here are being eaten, uh, one of you guys told me what it was. It's some kind of uh, some kind of grub that takes out uh, dead and wounded trees. So what I'm trying to do is cut all the blue spruce. Uh, in this yard, I got like five or six left standing and then we're good. I burn that stuff all the time I'm burning it right now in the shop. That's good early and late winter uh, Firewood for me. It splits fairly easy. It lights up like crazy and you get a nice bed of embers so that if you want to throw some hardwood on the top It just gets it going. So I'm gonna bring you guys in I have Hogan's 266 um, I put just a opened up ported muffler on it. This muffler, eh, it's just okay. Good for breaking. This muffler will definitely rob some power. Um, we've all had COVID around here, friends, including my brother who is getting ready to make a pipe for this. So um, when he gets that done, we'll take this thing out for another run. I haven't put this saw on the wood yet. And uh, I'm actually excited to do it. I'll bring this with me. I'll probably drop the tree with this. I usually don't fall trees with a brand new build because if something happens and I need to, you know, I need to give that tree a little squirt and the saw dies or whatever, often, you know, that could be a bad situation. So I've had no trouble with this saw. It seems to run good. I haven't put it in the wood yet. Uh, I changed the chain break assembly. I grabbed one out of my parts bin. Uh, the one that was on here, I, I put it on this morning to warm the saw up and I couldn't reset it. So... Uh, I'll try one of these. We'll see if Hogan wants an old style one or maybe I can make a new style one fit But other than that just like last time you guys saw I changed the switch Trigger doesn't stick anymore um, I changed the coil and wiring um, That's about it. I think this saw is ready to go. You guys were asking about fuel caps Okay, you can't find fuel caps for these um Oil caps can be hard to find, but fuel caps tend to leak. Friends, this is a new style flippy cap from a new Husqvarna. I didn't even know that these worked, and I have quite a few of these kicking around. Look, friends, that's the same cap as a 562, okay? Exactly the same cap. And I think a 550 is the same cap. I don't know about the 572, but uh, I don't think the 576 has the same cap, but it might. There you guys go. If you need a cap for your 266, there she be. Anyways, I'm going to get this thing fired up. I'm going to run this saw rich today. This is just a, a tested tune day. This isn't a, let's see how fast this thing is. It's cold out, so tuning's kind of out to lunch today. I'll have to play with the screwdriver probably quite a bit. Oh, she might want some choke. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm going to try these Husqvarna chainsaw mitts. Uh, these came in that uh, package. I can't remember the fellow's name that sent it. Isn't that terrible? You know who you are, though. The fellow from England that sent me that package full of Husqvarna gear. I'm going to try these gloves out. Okay, 562. Let's get this thing rolling. This thing is going to get retired soon. It's uh, it's tired, friends. It's real tired. I'm going to use this just to cut the tree down. Check out how much snow we have, friends. Here, here's my boot. It's 
past my ankle already. We got quite the storm. I'm gonna take this one down today. It's, uh, I don't know, it's 40, 50 feet. Another blue spruce. This is good firewood. I'll, uh, I'll probably drop this today and drag it out of the bush and limit. We could split this another day. And then there's those two there. I got lots of little cleanup projects to do in the yard here. Here's one that fell over earlier this year. I just left it. Fred, this tree's a slight back leaner. I'm gonna try and wedge it over. to go with the back cut first that way I can get control of the tree and then hammer it over so let's see let's see if this thing's gonna cooperate I think it's gonna be good though you guys tell I've had the COVID I'm really out of breath still My wedge is bottomed out. There we go. Whew, that's a bad tree. <laughs> wow. I thought she felt a little powdery as I was going in there. Hopefully there's some good wood left in this. Okay, I went and grabbed Hogan's saw. I probably could have fallen felled this tree with that saw but like I said better safe than sorry with a new build uh, I changed the brake lever on this I don't know if you guys are the side cover I don't know if you guys if I mentioned that Oh, <laughs> oh, 
went lean there for a second, friends. I'm just going to check it out, see what it's doing. I'm not sure if you guys heard that in the last clip. Did you hear this saw go lean? It started warbling down to idle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I was low on fuel, friends. That is something, if you're going to run ported saws and you're new to them, make sure you got a good ear for what's going on. Uh, I also took the gloves off. Those gloves are super warm, but this chain breaks too close and I keep tripping it. where my builds have been going as of late. Um, they're good. We'll talk about that after when we're done. build a fresh saw friends this saw has never been in the wood you uh it's gonna be a little particular the first tank first couple tanks i find like right there it's a little rich on the bottom it's still snappy the saw is good crack that's why i don't like to hand these back over oh that was close i don't like to hand these back over to the customer until i've run them a bit um, I want to make sure that they're good, all of them.
stick. Um, yeah, this thing's awesome. I'm gonna pack back up. I'll uh, I'll split all this over here another day. Clean up the debris. Maybe have a little fire back in here. Let's go back to the truck and talk about this. Here's the saw. She's nice and dirty now. She's eating some wood. Uh, I did change the muffler today off camera. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, that dual port jobby I was running, I, I don't like that muffler. It just, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't work on a 272. So, um, what did I do today? Well, friends, this trigger is still sticking. If you guys notice, look, you push this down. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling this is worn and it's not stopping on there perfectly. This... This holds the spring, but it's also a, a, a stop for this. See how far down that's going? So we got to deal with that. Uh, the new stop switch works perfectly, so I'm happy. The main thing I did today, friends. Oh, and I want to talk about chains before we go. Okay, I put the old style wire or metal chain brake on. The one that was on this saw uh, didn't want to reset all the way. It was hitting the wrap, so... What I ended up doing is I ended up changing it for this. This is my last, there's a little chip in the corner, but this is like my last complete, still has paint on it, uh, metal chain break. So um, Hogan's more than welcome to it. Look at that ugly muffler. Two big, ugly fish skills in there, friends. It works though. So this is just a test muffler. My brother is going to build a pipe for this thing. But... Uh, so yeah, two things. I need to bend this forward. I was having trouble with my hand. I don't know if you guys noticed in the video, but I was tripping the chain brake a lot. It's kind of frustrating. Um, and then we got to deal with that. Otherwise, this saw's good. It's got a good clutch on it. It's got the new style clutch with the metal, the C uh, springs. I love those. These saws like to idle a little bit faster when they're ported. And I find that new style chain brake or um, clutch um those will those will tolerate a higher rpm idling so i kind of prefer those on these builds if you have a saw that'll take one um that takes the new new style uh, uh fine thread crank which this saw has so the uh, the options are endless if you're going to port one of these the newer you get the more options you'll have for clutches and stuff like that um other than that friends this thing runs good it's pig rich in the whole video you saw today. I'm not going to turn it up until I feel it's ready to rock and roll. Um, compression. Compression's coming up nicely. Let's talk about the chain. Do you guys ever file a chain and it goes dull right away? It cuts like a banshee and then it just it ends up going dull. So I just did the whole tree with this, including stumping. Look at that chain, sharp. Notice there's no brown discoloration. So I used to have a problem, friends, and I just thought I'd mention this. I didn't stay on my chain long enough on my tooth. And when I was filing, I didn't wait till that little burr would come off. Okay, you'll see it. A little burr will come off. If you don't do that, often what happens is your tooth is concave or convex. And it'll go dull right away. And you'll notice it'll turn kind of brown and... Um, so if you're having problems with that, stay on your tooth a little bit longer, three, four strokes maybe, and you'll notice you'll get you'll get a you get a little burr that comes off, and usually that means your tooth is straight. Okay. Notice these are all still sharp. This chain's still ready to rock and roll, which is good because we're gonna do some more cutting with this saw coming up. So I got some miles on this X tough bar. Um, or X light. Uh, I like this saw. X tough light. I like this bar. Not the lightest bar, but it's a nice bar. I'd like to buy some more. Nobody has them in stock where I live, so maybe I'll have to order one from Walkers or something like that. But I'm really happy with this saw. I could build these saws all day, every day. In fact, friends, there's going to be a day that comes when I'm going to start taking builds, and these will probably be one of the saws that I want to build, so... Um, they take a lot of work and they're very labor intensive because they're usually old and have a hundred thousand miles on them. Check out that sticker, eh? Remember friends, if you need parts, Wolf Creek. 
all the parts in this saw are from Wolf Creek. The top end, piston, crank bearings, uh, gaskets, seals. The only thing that's not from Wolf Creek on this saw is the carb kit. So, but yeah, friends, another 266. We got to wait for my brother to finish the pipe for this, but uh, we'll keep running it a bit here and there and fix the few little things that are left on it, and then it'll go into a production setting, and uh, hopefully Hogan enjoys this. I've enjoyed building it. Okay, friends. Thanks for uh, tagging along. As you guys can see, once again, I used my 562. I like that saw. That's one of the only new saws I like. I'm an old saw guy. But uh, that's been a good trusty saw. And it is worn out. It has no compression. It's absolutely trashed inside, but it still runs good. So, Anyhow, friends, thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.